Hola, namaste. This is Priyanka Vanga from Sutra. What got me started after almost two decades of corporate life. I deal with vision issues, very severe vision issues, both hereditary as well as caused by an injury. It's given me the grounding, the flexibility through the Vinyasa Yoga Flow practice, one breath, one movement. I do it as my passion, as my purpose, in amplifying this wellness to others around us. Welcoming you on the mat today for a practice that would ground us balancing our bodies and our minds as we work with our Moolthara root chakra, grounding us, giving us peace as we move with our breath. So let's start the practice together with love as we think of the color red, the color of Moolthara chakra and the chant as you start to feel the breath within you, as you root yourself down to the earth, let's breathe in for now. L A M. Gently open your eyes, stretch the palms up, reach up, exhale, bring it back down to one center. Let's meet in neutral tabletop, pressing the palms down firmly, knees under the buttocks. And let's start to work on our balance as we move from one side to another, extending the palms and the toes back and release it down and switch sides. Inhaling, exhale. Lengthen with the breath, reach forward, exhale, release. Remember to keep the rest of your body stable as you move with the breath and exhale, down, down. Inhale, breathe. And this time as you exhale, bring the elbow and extend out for three. Once again, remember to move with the breath. Two, exhaling, lifting, and one, and release. And as you pause before we switch, think about how you feel as you start to shift the balance from one side to another and extend out and crunch in. Inhale, exhale, down. And once more, breathe and release. Come back to neutral, hold, and slowly stretch back evenly, extending the palms out forward, releasing the butt back on your heels. If you need to shift back a bit, just make any adjustments that you need to. Bring the fingertips in, shift the buttocks back, and slowly roll forward with your breath. Inhaling for cow, smiling. Tuck in your toes, exhale, marjariyasana, cat pose. Inhale, let the breath guide you upwards, gudilasana, cow pose. Keep pressing down firmly and evenly. Exhale, tuck in, cat pose, rounding the spine deeper. Breathe, feel the connection with the earth, with your toes, with your knees, with your palms, and slowly forward and bring the breath back in and come back to center. Inhale once again, stretching the left hand, right foot this time. And I want you to take the hand back, starting to add some shoulder opening as we work with balancing. Keep the opposite knee tight. Kick back and look over. Extend and rotate and kick. If your hand doesn't reach all the way, no problem. Just keep it on your lower back. Rotate out open. Kick a little higher if you can. Breathe and stretch and 
Let's add a couple of hip circles, working on some mobility as we work on balancing, inhaling, exhaling. Let's take it to the other side. Stretch it out, breathe, rotate back, reach for your ankle, kick a little higher, rotate and stretch. Lengthen with the breath once again. Exhale as you rotate, lift with the inhale, pause, exhale, stretch it out, lengthen and last one, breathe, hold, inhaling, exhale, release. Also starts to extend, warm up the quads out as you're kicking back, breathe, inhaling, exhaling and once again let's stretch it back out in child's pose balasana this time let's open the knees out wider and as you extend the palms out go deep breathe if it feels too much for you maybe make fists and release the forehead on top your elbows can press the knees out breathing in and out and as you pause here Think about your connection with your roots once again. As you release the body back, relax your shoulders, your ankles. Breathe into your spine. Exhale it out. Slowly walk the hands out forward, giving yourself a nice stretch. Bring the knees to point forward and come back to center, neutral tabletop. Readjust yourself, wrist, elbows, shoulders in one straight line, knees under the buttocks, breathe, tuck in your toes, stay steady, and let's lift the knees an inch off the mat, bear pose. Adding a bit of strength work, holding here, keep breathing, three, two, one, and release it down, take a stretch back, and come back up with your breath, tuck in your toes once again, and rise up, bear hold, you'll do it three times, holding here steady, keep pressing the mat away, knees are hovering only an inch above the mat, toes are tucked in, you're looking forward, spine's neutral, and release, Give yourself a nice stretch back once again. Always an option to take breaks. Child's pose. And gently, let's roll forward one more time. And hold her in there. Maybe five breaths this time if you can. Breathing in and out. Three, two, one. Release it down. Stretch it out. And come back forward, rolling forward with your breath. And start to lift your butt up. Adho Bhukashwanasana, down dog. Releasing the heels down as close to the mat as you can reach. Short down dog. Pedaling your feet out if you need to warm up. Or holding steady as feels good today. Tapping the knees down. And lifting back up. Once again, let's focus on the movement with the breath. Inhaling down as you exhale, lift up and spread the weight evenly between your palms and your feet. Rising up in a strong inverted V, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Stretch it out and slowly tippy toe your feet to the front of the mat. Exhaling forward, letting yourself hang loose. Let your belly meet the thighs. If you need to bend the knees, do so. Releasing the palms down. And slowly start to roll up one vertebra at a time to come up to standing. As we start to prepare for our sun salutations, stretch the arms up, exhale, hands come down to heart center. Standing tall in front of the mat, in Tadasana, bow to pose. We 
maybe pausing here for a breath to close your eyes. As you feel all four corners, put your feet, move it down, lift it up your toes, and let the breath guide up your feet. Fold forward, empty your belly out. Inhale, halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release it down. Let's take the left foot back. Maybe the first one, if you need to keep the knee off, off, on the mat, not off the mat, feel free to do so. Extend the toes out. Or option to keep the knee off the mat. Anjaniasana, rising up, crescent pose. Breathe and hold. Once again, focus on the alignment. The hips remain pointing forward. Front knee is bent. Inhaling. As you exhale, straighten the front leg out. Release down forward. Inhale. Come back up. And this time, as you exhale, frame the front foot. Kick back. Slide forward. Option again to bring the knees down for your chaturanga. Or vinyasa practice with the cobra depending on what you choose. If you're down with me, knees are hovering. Inhale, stretch up. Urdhva, Mukhaswanasana, up dog. If your knees are down and you're flowing through cobra, keep the elbows in, chest down. Smile and stretch up. Hi, cobra. Tuck in your toes and everyone meet back. Adho, Mukhaswanasana, down dog. Pedal your feet out. Breathe as we take it to the other side. Kick back high with the left foot. Exhale, bring it forward. Front knees bent. Once again, knee down or up, your choice. Inhale, rise up. Anjaniasana, crescent pose. Holding steady. Maybe you want to add a bit of an extra stretch. Tap the foot back further. Breathe and straighten the front leg out. Reach forward. Inhale as you bend, come back up, back to Anjaniasana, crescent pose, frame the front foot. Let's take the vinyasa to the other side, kicking back, releasing down. Inhale, stretching up, exhaling, Adho Bhukhashwanasana, down dog. Maybe this one, you choose to hold steady or keep warming up the legs. As feels right, holding here, breathing breaths, three, two, one, and tippy toe your feet to the front of the mat, folding forward, inhaling, halfway, exhale, release, sopa, urdhva, ustasana, exhale, hands to heart center, and release, tadasana. You'll start to add the warrior poses in now, breathing, strengthening, and stretching. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, release down. Take the left foot back this time, open the foot out, keeping the front knee bent, rise up, Vira 1. Warrior one. Breathing in, holding steady. And once again, let's straighten the front leg out. Stretch it out. Release forward. Inhale, bend and lift with the breath. Exhale, frame the front foot. Release, kick back, slide through, flow through your vinyasa, releasing down, stretch your up. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, exhale. Take it to the other side. Breathe. And stretch up once again. Warrior one. Hold. And exhale, release down forward. 
Inhale. Exhale, frame the front foot and kick back. Sliding forward with the breath. Inhale. Stretching up. Inhale. Mukhashwanasana. High cobra. So knees are down on the mat. Tuck in your toes. Ado Mukhashwanasana. This time let's release one hand. Stretch it to the opposite. Shin or ankle. If you start to slip that knee on the mat, just readjust. Breathe. Maybe you want to close your eyes and think about how your weight is being spread between the feet in the back and one hand in the front. Readjust your hips, keeping them square and look forward. Slide forward for a plank. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Let's take the stretch to the other side. Breathe. Hold. Stay steady in your mind, in your body. Inhale, come forward. Optional vinyasa add in. Halfway, chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tippy toe your feet in front of the mat. Folding forward. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, release. Rise up. Exhale, hands to one side. Inhale, reach up. This time, come to sit down, chair pose, Utkatasana. Remember to keep the chest open as you tuck the tailbone under and lift one foot off the mat, maybe just an inch. If you want to go higher, you want to kick forward, lift up. Working also your hip flexors. Breathe and exhale. Tap it down with control. Fold forward. Dalasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Release. Swing the hands back and come back up. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Take it to the other side. Stretch. Kick high. Sit down. Single legged chair pose. Utkatasana. Ika Pada Utkatasana. Release it back and fold forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale, release. Uttanasana. Walk or jump to the back of the mat. Breathe. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Udva Mukhashwanasana. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Kick back high with the right foot. Bring it forward and with control as you bring your hands to heart center, start to lift the back leg off the mat. Warrior three, Veera Bhadrasana three. Back toes are pointed, hips remain square. Stay steady on the standing leg, keeping the full foot grounded, toes rooting you down. Breathe, hold. Hands remaining at heart center. If you need support, grab a wall or even bring them down. Do what you need to do to hold steady. And slowly release the foot back down. Rising back up. Warrior one. Veera Bhadrasana one. Exhale, release. Inhale, sliding back. Flowing through an optional vinyasa. Or releasing the knees down for a pause. If you wish to, meet me back, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Pedal your feet out. Any point of time you need a break, bring the knees down, stretch it back out in child's pose, Balasana. Inhale, come back up. Let's take it to the other side. Kick back with the left foot this time. Bring it forward and start to root yourself. On the standing foot, hands to heart center, and start to kick back. Kick up, definitely not very easy with socks on your feet on a yoga mat, but we'll try. Hold, for three, for two, for one, 
and with control release the back foot down inhale smile and rise strong warrior Vira Bhadrasana exhale frame the front foot kick back slide forward exhale down chaturanga inhaling up dog exhaling down pedal your feet out and this time you can walk or hop to the front of the mat try to land your feet outside your hands for malasana deep squat to open your hips up hands to heart center knees and elbows countering against each other as you open the chest up breathe and feel the release down back to the earth through the heaviness of your breath recentering yourself as you think about grounding your body your mind finding the balance in our daily lives and slowly exhale the palms down start to lift up folding forward uttanasana inhale halfway exhale release swing back and up utkatasana chair pose rising up exhaling hands to heart center pause Inhale, reach up, Uddhva Hastasana. Come back down, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Breathe. This time, let's add a figure four. Sinking down, holding steady. Working on some hip opening and low back relief as we work on balancing on the right foot. Exhale it out, release. Inhale halfway, exhale down, swing the palms back and up, Utkatasana chair pose on the other side and let's do the figure four, single legged Ekapada Utkatasana with figure four on the opposite side, breathe, smile, good, staying steady on the standing leg, inhaling, exhaling, let it go. Walk or jump to the back of the mat. Meet me in a plank. Optional vinyasa. Inhaling up. Exhaling down dog. Let's slowly start to work on the transition from a plank to a down dog. As we prepare for Vashirsasana, side plank pose. Breathe, come forward, starting to think about how you would feel balancing on your right first, right palm, right foot. I'll give a variation with the knee down for those who need it. Exhale. And the next one, let's come forward for a plank and roll over on the right. Once again, if you need to, you can bring the right knee down or keep balancing on the right foot and the right palm and inhale the left hand up. Stretch it out or keep it on your hips. Keep lifting the inner waist up, hold steady. Optional variation here, lift the top foot, bring it in, hold it up, inhaling exhale and let's release it out and kick back with the left foot slide forward for your vinyasa inhale stretch up and let's prepare for the other side breathe let's roll over towards the left stretch it up once again the knee can come down for support if needed staying steady the front shoulder 
elbow, wrist in one straight line. If you feel you're feeling balanced and grounded here, lift the foot up, bring the foot to your inside left thigh and stretch up. Hold. Vashisthasana variation with three holds. Three, two, one. With control, release it out and kick back, sliding forward, releasing down, inhaling, exhaling. Adho Mukha Shwanasana, down dog. Pause. Keep the weight even between your hands and your feet. Maybe bending one knee at a time, generously releasing the other leg out, stretching it out fully, releasing the heels down. And look forward. Once again, hop outside your hands and come back to Malasana, garland pose. Breathe. This time, let's start to think about how we can transition our weight to our palms as we prepare the core pose. Releasing the palms down, having some fun with balance. Let's jump back and focus on bringing the knees to our triceps, pushing in. And as you do so, focus on a point in front of you. Breathe, grounding yourself down, starting to play, rocking front and back, imagining the transition as you lift up. Be careful not to lift too far forward, do not fall over. So we'll start with one foot up and then the other. Try to get the big toes to touch behind as you lift off and maybe even bring the thumb and index finger together in the front. It's a great way to seal the energy of your body as you root it down and lift it up. Breathe, inhale, lift and hold. One foot, the other, play around with it and then let's try with both feet if you're ready for it. If not, just stay here, catch your breath, catch your pause and keep working with balance and with upper body strength to lift up in a crow. Holding, breathing, flying, smiling. Three, two, one, release it down with control. And let's come to sit down on our butts. Hold the balance practice within you and let's stretch it up and exhale release it down forward Paschimottasana surrendering to the earth with your body with your breath inhale reach up lengthen up maybe adjust if you need to adjust your sitting bones as you lengthen up tall, reach forward long and exhale it out. Reaching for your big toes, for the balls of your feet, or your heels as feels comfortable. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, release. Let's open the right knee out. Inhaling. Exhaling, releasing down forward, head to knee pose. Janu Shirsasana. Inhale, the right hand goes up. Take it back behind you as you lift the front side of your body. Keep the left hand on the left hip. Point the front toes and rise up. Maybe now extend the front hand. Holding here. Exhaling, release. Let's take it to the other side. As we stretch and lengthen, breathe, exhale. 
feel so good. Surrendering Janu Shivsasana. Hip to knee pose. The other side. And now, let's inhale up. Release the left hand back. Maybe this time you want to play around with it and directly lift up with the right hand lifted. Stretching the right leg, the right ankles as you release the toes down. Maybe even taking the hand back to enjoy a lateral stretch on the side. Exhale down. And let's bring the feet in together. Butterfly pose. Good legs. Inhaling. Exhaling, folding forward. Using this moment to think about how the practice helped you. And as you inhale, think about how you want to take this back into your life. Just let's close together with a long, once again focusing on our Mulhara, our root chakra. And as you start to close your eyes, keep the palms open on top of your knees. Breathe. Pause. And let's all chant long. Exhale, inhale, open your eyes with a smile and let's stretch up. Exhale, bring it all back down to the center. I hope you can also share your stories, your journeys as we grow and flow together. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye.